Hello my friends, Albert Einstein here. Today we're going to discuss a fascinating topic, the theory of AI relativity. Now, don't worry, I won't be throwing any complex equations at you. Instead, we'll explore the concept in a way that's easy to understand, just as I would have liked it. First, let's clarify what we mean by AI relativity. Much like my theory of relativity, which states that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers, the theory of AI relativity suggests that the effectiveness and utility of artificial intelligence are relative to the user's needs in a specific situation. Consider this, an AI developed to predict weather patterns may be incredibly effective for a meteorologist but may not be as useful for a chef in a kitchen. The AI is the same, but its relevance and effectiveness are relative to the user in the context. Similarly, an AI model trained to recognize images of cats would be highly effective in a cat detection task but would fail miserably if asked to translate a sentence from English to German. Again, the AI's effectiveness is relative to the task at hand. So, when we talk about AI, it's essential to remember this relativity. AI isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a tool, and like any tool, its effectiveness depends on how, where, and by whom it's used. In the next videos, we'll delve deeper into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. We'll explore different types of AI, how they learn, and how they're being used to shape the world around us. But for now, remember, AI is relative, and understanding this relativity is the first step towards understanding the true potential of artificial intelligence. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.